Now, Lil TJ, Gina. Or yeah, Josh want to break it down? Prayers up to Lil TJ. Definitely. Now, have y'all heard heard the whole story of what happened? If you Somebody listen to, tried to get up on them, right? Hassan Campbell, yeah. lying ass, there's like six <laughs> different stories. There's well, one where Hassan mm-hmm. said his own homies lined him up. Mm-hmm. But one was, you know, but... Not, hey, bro, basically, speak freely. Shit. Uh, they got ain't with you, <laughs> bro, bro, speak freely. <laughs> like, I ain't shit. got shit. <laughs> speak freely, nigga. Well, nigga, pretty shit. much, though, the gist of the story is he was getting robbed, right? Basically, I, he got robbed... Dude came up. This is what the police say. So this is the police report. Mm-hmm. That TJ was chilling in the car mm-hmm. and everything like that. Somebody came up, tried to rob him, popped him, shot him all up in the chest, hit him like seven times. His homies bust back, everything like that. Then the dude ran off and shit like that. Mm-hmm. They picked him up. They dropped him off at a hospital in New York. The reason they caught him is because his damn shoes, not only his ass is in the hospital for a bullet wound, mm-hmm. that's automatic police call. But they said his shoes matched the mulch that was already Damn. there by the goddamn tree is on his pants. Mm. So when sliding go wrong. <laughs> now Did they end up at the same hospital? Hell no, that'd have been funny, but no. <laughs> And were were his boys in the car with him? Yeah. yeah. They went to jail too because allegedly they shot back. So, you know. Damn. But it is like kinda like just stupid though, Ben. Like niggas is going like I would think things the cops would have empathy to know damn, bro. Like their homie just got shot. They was only protecting their homies. Let's let's not lock these niggas up. But bro, they still locked the nigga up after their homie got shot. You you expecting the police to have empathy and these motherfuckers will shoot you with no weapon? Put yeah, a knee on you and shit. What? After Twenty goddamn minutes down there. Police ain't got no damn empathy. What you mean? They couldn't. They couldn't mm-hmm. wait. They probably laugh while mm-hmm. doing this shit. They probably was sitting there watching. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They Damn. did that with cash. They was right exactly. there. Exactly. That's oh, what I'm really? saying. They probably was sitting the there watching. Police was right there. They watched the whole shit and then came afterwards. That's crazy, though. Yeah. Now, do you think... Now, there's people making a big deal, you know, out of this, right? Because for y'all who don't know, um, A Boogie and Lil TJ had history, you know. Now, it was old history. It's been like two years now, right, where um, A Boogie made a, IG, no, a Twitter post and said, yo, like, you niggas, man, like, y'all copy my style. Please give it back. Everybody at the time thought he was talking about Lil TJ because Lil TJ is like A Boogie kind of clone, right? So... Lil TJ went you back and vouch for clones, so right, yeah, right, yo, bro, like they've been saying that that that, that I'm fucking academics clone. You know that. That's why I said yeah. that. Absolutely, <laughs> right, but oh. hell, fucking yeah, <laughs> yo, bro, these <laughs> niggas even said said that academics sent me to infiltrate and tear down no jumper. I believe that because when you was talking to him, it yeah. was like listening to like, a guy uh, who wanted to be another guy inside of another guy. God damn. Pause. God damn. Like a, a father and son type shit? There you go. <laughs> nah, yo. I, I, but back to TJ, right? So, uh, right, so people, you know, was pointing out old videos where TJ and a Boogie was, yeah. right, going back and forth like that. Uh, and then we just seen that the shooter was in a video. Was in a video with a Boogie. Now, do you think that's a big deal? Not a big deal? Do you, you know, speak on it? There's a lot of people who want to be in music videos. Yeah. So. Sound like he was an extra to me. Yeah. An uh, extra. Dancer. Now. Because cause are, are we instigating something right now? Or no, is no, this no, public? No, 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 no. Yeah. Is this public? Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. Nah, Rap House put it out. Rap House put that uh, shit It's out definitely public. Shit. You feel me? Because, nigga, you be creating some wild ass narratives. Nah. Well, nah, because then you had Hassan Campbell has this platform and he shit said like four people did it. Mm hmm. Six different stories, but four different people. So, <laughs> shit. I mean, this is the Scooby Doo shit right now. Okay. How long ago? Uh, how old is the video? Uh, I don't even know the video. Yeah. That's the crazy part. It didn't even look yes. like Kaz to me. That's the worst part. No, no, no. Now, so there were some also some things, right? So if you, so, if people looked up Muhammad Kanati, right? You know, uh, they looked him up on some like the white pages like that, right? Mm-hmm. Now, who looks at the white pages still? Like, what's, no, what's well, Google for? well, no, right? So like it's like True Finder, White Pages, Spokio, et cetera, et cetera, right? But Dave. Somehow located, bro, Facebook and Twitter. Ah, oh, shit. And it, yeah, and through the Facebook, you feel me? You know, he has con- connections he's tied in. So, so that's as far as I'll go with the police shit. But yeah, you feel me? You oh, know. that's as far as you're going. <laughs> It's not looking good for bro. You feel me? Now, now this nigga got limitations. <laughs> uh, nah. I would say that it's not looking good. You feel me, man? If you know, if that's what happened, oh man. I hope that eventually, you feel me, Lil TJ, you know, make, you know, peace with all of his ops, you feel me? Because, you know. Oh, also, too, though, I've seen some fake-ass reports. Yo, and, like, yeah, bro, and a shame to you, like, weird-ass bloggers, bro. There's some this, like, fake-ass report that Dr. Raheem Smith 
said that little TJ was going to be paralyzed for the rest of his life. I don't believe nothing until they until yeah. say yeah. him, so I, yeah. I, you see, I ain't say nothing about none of that. Hey, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. We just hit 200K. We're trying to get to 300K. Turn us up. Appreciate y'all. Let's go.